This is the wire for 1900 Zulu, March 9th, 2024. Precedence is routine. Information cutoff is 1800. Bottom line up front. Houthi drone attacks increase. Conflict in Haiti intensifies overnight. Beginning with international events, in the Red Sea Horn of Africa region, attacks on U.S. Navy forces in the region intensified this morning following multiple swarm attacks via kamikaze drones. CENTCOM reports that 28 drones were shot down over a roughly four-hour period around dawn local time. CENTCOM affirms that no U.S. or coalition vessels were damaged in this attack. In Haiti, overnight demonstrations intensified in Port-au-Prince following weeks of kinetic activity throughout the nation. Last night, the presidential palace was attacked, along with many government facilities throughout the capital city. On the home front in Washington, D.C., Steve Nakui has been released from jail following his arrest in the capital Thursday night. Initial reports suggest he was charged with misdemeanor protest and paid $50 to be released on bail. As of this report, charges are being pursued by the Capitol Police, which carry a maximum sentence of $500 or 90 days in prison. In Texas, a National Guard UH-72 Lakota helicopter crashed near Rio Grande City at approximately 2.50 p.m. yesterday. Day. Two soldiers and one Border Patrol agent were killed in the crash, and one other soldier was injured. The cause of the incident is under investigation. Analyst comments for this wire. The situation in Haiti has intensified following weeks of gang-related violence that has swept the nation. The demonstrations as such are challenging to describe. One of the major catalysts for this recent wave of conflict is government corruption surrounding Prime Minister Ariel Henry. As Prime Minister Henry left Haiti for a conference in Kenya last week, organized criminal actors within Haiti seized the chance to attempt a coup, which has largely just resulted in sporadic attacks on police stations and government facilities. As such, the very few peaceful and legitimate demonstrations against corruption have been eclipsed by gangs vying for control of the beleaguered nation. The United Nations has repeatedly called for Prime Minister Henry to step down amid these corruption scandals, and Prime Minister Henry has still not been able to return to Haiti following the increase in violence in Port-au-Prince, which is logistically challenging due to the geography of the runway presenting risks of small arms fire. This concludes The Wire for 1900 Zulu, March 9th, 2024.